believe I have a little something in my secret pocket. Here, open mine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did you get me a pen and pencil set? <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Are these real diamonds? Yep, and delicately clustered in a beautiful setting of white gold. Oh, my God, you can't afford this. Not a problem. I put it on a credit card, and I can pay it off in 110 easy payments. That, that's like nine years. Really? Sales guy really didn't spell it out in years. Mike, I can't accept this. Why not? It's our first Christmas, and I wanted to get you something special. Absolutely not. This is way too expensive. I don't care. I want you to have it. But I don't want it. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Hey, I love you, and you can't put a price on love. Hold on a second. You love me? Yeah. Is that okay? I love you, too. Really? More than anything. You're still not giving me a diamond bracelet. Why not? Because I don't want to spend the rest of our lives paying off my first Christmas present. If you're really uncomfortable, I'll trade you for the fry daddy. Hang on, Ma. So you think we're going to be together for the rest of our lives? It's a figure of speech. No, it's not. I heard you say it. This is really sweet of you, but you saying I love you. It's the only Christmas present I really want. Really? Really. Well, isn't this a magical Christmas? <laughs> you get an expensive piece of jewelry, and I get a deep, fat fryer. <laughs> God bless us, everyone. Well, me walking around in that elf costume wasn't exactly a crowd pleaser. Yeah, like those underprivileged kids haven't seen enough ugly in their lives. <laughs> Happy holidays, gentlemen. Oh, right. And keep the change. A $2.15 tip? It truly is a season of miracles. Just take it. God bless you, kind sir. I shall run out right now and buy the fattest Christmas goose in all the land. And perhaps a skateboard for Tiny Tim, now that I can afford to get his little legs fixed. See, that right there is why I never tip him. Everybody, Santa's here. You're up. I am. And dressed. And clean. <laughs> well, as well in Whoville. Yeah. I didn't want to be vice principal anyway. All they really do is push paper and punish kids, and I'd rather teach them and inspire them. I thought you said there was a significant pay bump too. Vince, <laughs> I don't care about the money. It's it's not about that. It's about you know doing something you love and that you're passionate about and. You able to come home to someone who loves you for who you are. And that ain't going anywhere. Oh, you're my big weenie truck. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I'll take it. <laughs> well, I appreciate you letting my boy spend the holidays with me. I'm not sure how many more I've got left. I don't imagine you're going anywhere anytime soon, are you? <laughs> Is that your Christmas wish? No, not at all. I guess I have been kind of hogging them the last couple of years. That's just your nature. <laughs> okay. You know, when Mikey was a kid, his dad and I usually locked horns every holiday. Hard to imagine. <laughs> And unfortunately, it ruined quite a few Christmases. And a tree or two. It certainly hasn't soured him on the holidays. That's because he gets to spend them with someone he loves. Are you talking about me or you? I'm trying to be sweet to you at Christmas. Don't make it any harder than it is. <laughs> Sorry, you were saying. I'm saying... My boy loves you, you're all right by me, and I could have done a lot worse. It was very sweet. Consider it your Christmas present. <laughs> I appreciate you coming over here tonight, Biggs. I know it meant the world to your mom. I'm actually glad I did. I haven't seen her this happy in a long time. I'm guessing some of that's because of you, sir. 
Not a fact. My dad really didn't treat her very well. She deserves a good man in her life. Thank you for saying that. I'd take a bullet for that woman. Hopefully it won't come from her. <laughs> Merry Christmas, pigs. We're not at work, sir. You can actually call me Mike if you want. Okay. And I'm Patrick. Merry Christmas, Patrick. Son of a gun, he did eat tinsel. <laughs> Kind of pretty the way it glistens when the moon hits it. You want to get that, Patrick? Pick it up, Bix. Yes, sir. <laughs> Jingles, uh, a, a word. <laughs> ho, ho, ho! <laughs> the hell are you doing? We should have been done an hour ago. <laughs> well, I can't help it if this is a bigger turnout this year. For the under-eight crowd, your lap is the place to be and to be seen. Yeah, well, I'd like to be seen before New Year's. Can we pick up the pace, All please? right, I got it. Thank you. Oh, All right, kids. Oh, 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 oh. All right, kids, we got to speed it up a little. Santa's got things to do tonight. We've got his reindeer all gassed up and ready to fly. Uh, you do know his reindeer, don't you? And Prancer and Vixen. You got Comet, you got Jupiter, you got Diamond, you got Blitzen. Christmas ham is finally served. What took you guys so long? Well, there were a lot of kids this year. Uh, a lot more than expected. Mm -hmm. And this man wouldn't leave until every last one of them had a toy. <laughs> Did you see Vince's ornament? Front and center. It's Santa on the dumper. <laughs> but don't press a button while Molly's in the room. She doesn't think it's as funny as the rest of the world. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just think that Santa deserves some privacy. Hey, uh, does this mean that I can get an ornament? Nah, that tree's perfect now. Why would you want to add anything? It's got a nice flow. You know, while we're on the topic of changing stuff, haven't you people ever heard of Elf on the Shelf? <laughs> no, the, the Elf and Folk are probably represented in this house. <laughs> they creep me out. Okay, I don't want to ruffle any feathers, seeing how this is my first Christmas as a family member. Hey, you've been Dame Victoria for four months. It took me three years to get one lousy ornament. Yeah, you gotta do your time like we did. Besides, nobody's getting anything else until I get my midnight mass pancakes. We don't go to mass. Which is why we can have the pancakes at night. <laughs> so you can't just come in here and start deciding. We're a democratic household. You make a request, and then Molly will tell you if we can do it. All right, here we go. <laughs> 